Hi guys, how's everybody doing? It's Wednesday. Let me make sure I'm up um, on my cameras. Let's see here. Nope, not up yet. <sighs> Come on, Wi-Fi, connect me. Uh, Ray, do you see me yet? Oh, you're not on Facebook. Never mind. Do, do, do. Oh, there I am. I'm on. Yay. All right. How's everybody doing today? So Wednesday is one of my favorite days of the week. You may ask why. Specifically, I get to talk to one of my friends across the country that we have some type of a personal or professional relationship over the years. Um, I try really hard to highlight other female-owned businesses. I feel like in a predominantly male environment, we need to kind of have each other's backs. And so if you recall in the past, I've had some authors on, I've had some local shop owners on, and I've had some other colleagues on that owned featherweight businesses. Um, but today, today I have a dear, dear friend. She was a, for lack of a better term, she was an angel in a time in my life. I really needed to have some people around me, me that were part of my tribe. So she probably doesn't even know how much I appreciate her, but she's about to find out. So I'd like everybody to welcome Kathy Reynolds from A Quilters Oasis in Mesa, Arizona. So let me bring her on. Hang on. All right. Oh, Kathy, what happened? You're all frozen up. I am. You are. Um, <clears throat> why don't you, can you refresh your browser to see if that fixes it? Okay. Hang on, guys. Technical difficulties. Oh, did it throw her out? Okay. <laughs> don't you love it when technology works? Let me... Just go back to me for a sec. All right, let me see about grabbing her back on. Hang on. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, hopefully she'll jump back on here. Do you have me now? Oh, there she is. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I need That's okay. Okay, she's back on, folks. Hang on. Let me just um, merge our two things. Sorry, guys. Uh, do, oh, do, do. Okay. And here she is. Yay. <laughs> Hi, everybody. You. <laughs> Technical difficulties. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's my friend and other times I'm super glad I'm married to a nerd, a techie nerd, because he <laughs> saves my bacon. I have no idea. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Kathy, like, okay. why don't you just, I, so we have been friends for what, three or four years, I think? Four. Yeah, four. Yep. Yes. And we started out, um, so I kind of told everybody a little bit about our story um, when on last week, but okay. um, specifically we were, I, my husband had taken a job in Arizona and I moved, we moved up, moved, you know, uprooted our family. We didn't know anybody to take a job there. And we settled out in my beautiful in-laws home in Apache Junction. And of course, as a quilter, my first charge is to find the local quilt shop. I mean, hello. Um, and Apache Junction was not particularly uh, welcoming of me is a nice way of putting that. We got there in June and it was like the rapture had happened and we had been left behind. There was no one there. We lived in a family neighborhood and I'd say every other home was vacant. Right, was because just... we are a winter mecca. For right. So leaving cold weather. Right. So uh, it was the weirdest. The only way I can kind of liken it is it was like we moved to another 
country, but everybody spoke English. Like that's how foreign it was for us to get there from Seattle. Um, and so anyway, I remember I, I was a pretty well-known quilt teacher around the Pacific Northwest when we lived here. And I thought in all of my, you know, amazing um, wisdom that I was going to retire. You know, everybody was in retired in Arizona. I'm 39. I thought I'm going to retire. Um, and at the same time, I just was horribly lonely, horribly lonely. So I had gone into your shop one time, Kathy, you had the nicest staff and such a beautiful collection of fabrics. You just have excellent taste. Thank and um, I remember I met you, you, you rang me out and I, do you remember our first interaction? Yeah, it was. <laughs> uh -huh. I was like looking at your class schedule and I'm like, so... I see that you are teaching the machine quilting she classes quilting class. and you're like, yeah, you know, in only your Michigan, you know, demeanor. Yeah. And yeah. I said, well, I know that as an owner, you, you, do you enjoy teaching that, that class? And you're like, well, I'm the only one that can do it because so-and-so had to leave to go take care of her aging family. Parents. And, yep. and so why do you teach? Like you were, you're just like as straight shooter as they come. I, am I was like, straight. yep. Yep. I okay. said, uh, Oh, well, yes, I, I had some classrooms in Seattle and I've been teaching for about 10 years. And, and you looked at me and you're like, you're hired. And I said, <laughs> don't you want to call my references? Don't you <laughs> want to make sure that I'm representing myself appropriately? And you're like, no, I get a good read off you. I'll pop Bring my in head in. Stuff. <laughs> Bring in your stuff. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what you said. And I right. literally went home and I like was so SEW excited that I could start to be with my people again before that though mm -hmm. you don't even know this but before that i had taken a class at your shop before we had even been introduced because i was missing my tribe and i and i was so lonely and i thought i just need to be around my people um and so i kid you not i take a stupid class and they were all winter visitors all went like oh. no one was a local and I thought, oh my gosh, this is going to be impossible. But it, it all eventually came full circle. And then around March that first year, you had invited me to go with your girls to one of the big quilting shows at the convention yes. center. And I, I don't know if I've ever told you this, but I went back to the car and I cried because I was so excited <laughs> that someone oh, no. had like you know, shown me any attention. You just, you just have a, in the Valley of Phoenix, there's 4.5 million people and no one wants to be your friend. No one wants to be it's your friend. Very uh, and, it's very hard to make friends. Yeah. Here. And yeah. then there is, when we were in Seattle, I mean, this was my, where I grew up, I had lifelong friends. I like literally couldn't go to the grocery store without bumping into two or three people. And if I didn't have any makeup on, it was guaranteed to happen. Um, <laughs> but there you could be anonymous in your own, you know, 10 square right. block radius. No one, you didn't even really know your neighbors because it was so hot. And stuff. It's so hot. You don't go out. That's right. right. Well, no one's going to carry on a conversation at 109, at, you know, at the mailbox or mm -hmm. out, you're not doing landscaping. Other people do that for, you know, so anyway, it was just a, it was kind of a wonderful time for me Well, and your people welcomed me in like I was part of the sisterhood and treated me like I was family. And I just, I had to just tell everybody how amazing you are. I mean, above well, and beyond what a great business lady you are and what a fabulous shop you have. You're a forever near and dear friend to me. So same um, here, same with, with you, you, oh. you fit right into our, we, we call ourselves kind of crazy because we're, you know, I always say quilting is a, is a relief release and a lot of fun. Uh, yeah. It's not, I was a nurse, so in my previous life, and uh, it's not surgery, so we have a lot of fun, and uh, we're a little crazy, so if you don't fit in that craziness, which Darlene fit right in, so. <laughs> <laughs> we have a bunch of people saying hi, hold on. So, Miss Nancy's there, you're Nancy, Kathy. Oh, my Nancy. <laughs> and my friend Lisa Meadows is on, Hi. 
Oh, we have Annette from Kansas. Oh, wow. Linda Wood from Texas. Becky, I send your screw out today, so it should be there. Becky King from Texas. All right, girls. Well, let's get down to business. So, okay. This is such a weird season for us. Um, I'm sure it's been weird for you too. I yes. mean, this all hit in your prime business cycle. Um, you, I mean, you guys rely heavily on those winter visitors coming in, and yes. Um, so I'm so tell me how your day to day business has been affected. How you've made adjustments? What we did was um, Leah who is my, uh, my youngest staff member. She <laughs> is very computer. Well, as you called it, the nerd, the nerd. Um, mm -hmm. It's good she's to have a nerd. not really a nerd, but she's very computer savvy. Okay. So, um, she worked pretty much every day. Um, we cut our hours and mm -hmm. she just ramped up our online store. And I noticed, I, I noticed. Yeah. Just totally ramped it up. She went shelf by shelf to, um, sorry, I'm trying to get out of people's way for <laughs> them to come in and wash their hands. So, um, but she ramped up our online store, uh, tremendously. We, um, I mean, shelf by shelf, she went and loaded, uh, every single bolt. If she Good for her. A picture, took a picture of it. Um, we were doing curbside pickup from 10 to two. Okay. Um, it took a little while for it to, to ramp up a little bit, but um, I got emails out there, sent them to people, you know, to my email list and word of mouth got out there. Um, so yeah. that's what we did. And then, uh, so it was just a matter of keeping communication open with my customers yeah. in my email database and then ramping up that, that website. So, well, and um, you also have done significantly more on social media. Social I've noticed. Media. Mm -hmm. And Nancy, yeah. Nancy is the one that was kind of spearheading that business. Is that, is she still doing that? Yeah, actually, um, Nancy, I, I call her. Yeah. She is my social media. Um, I've learned in the last couple of years to um, delegate a little bit more because I hmm. can't do it all. <laughs> <laughs> do you um, hear I, that, girl? She just admitted. She just admitted it. It's on camera. She can't yeah, do it all. I can't do it all. Um, <laughs> I try to not micromanage. <laughs> um, I, I am a, <laughs> like I said, I was a nurse in my previous life, so I am a little controlling. Okay. Uh, so anyway, <laughs> people are laughing out at me. Yeah, um, I'm, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, uh, yeah, it was, so Nancy's really done a lot on social media. We decided to like a couple of times because our end of bolt bin was getting bigger. Okay. So Nancy and Leah decided, because those were the only two staff members I had on. Uh, oh, through the, through the quarantine? Through the whole thing. Everybody, oh, yeah, everybody else requested um, to be off. Oh, for a long um, okay. Just for health reasons. Yeah. Um, so anyways, they, they were here. We kept up and so, and the bullpen got full and Nancy decided and Leah decided they would bundle them things and do some live stuff on Facebook. And so Very that's fun. how we, we managed and now we're uh, open our regular hours and uh we've started some classes back up yay yay yeah so, the ladies are loving it well one of the things that i liked about your shop um well there's lots of things but one of the things that i really liked about your shop is you have the most amazing classroom like can do if you had to 20 to 30 people on you know do you have that many tables and that much room? Probably will, not in social distancing time now. No, but, but like when you would do those, um, those uh, what what did you call them? Stay in retreats or sleep at home? In retreats. in house retreats. Yes. In house retreats. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember having to come there one time for a little wet red featherweight, and I just could not believe <laughs> believe how many people were in that room. <laughs> in that room. <laughs> It's because I will I will give a little tour since you've talked about that room. Okay. I will I will give a little tour. So I'm going to uh, turn the camera around. Okay. And yeah, um, take us around. Take, show us your shop. 
I will take you through, okay? okay. So I'm going to take you through into the work area. Um, did it flip on? Yeah, it yep, did. It okay. Did. See? Um, okay. So this is basically our little lunchroom work area. I'm not real good at with this camera thing. I don't want to make people. Bob always says I move too fast. That's my husband. No, you're fine. That's Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Cindy is, Hi. Hi, darling. <laughs> Cindy is you. our kit maker. <laughs> She makes all our kits and she's doing her most favorite kit right now. We do a, a, a flag kit with um, tumblers. And oh, yeah. So she has to cut all of those with the AccuCut. You know, Brittany, so, Brittany yeah, the uh -huh. little young darling, yes. she uh, just posted about it and then tagged you the shop. Oh, okay. Yeah, because okay. someone was asking about where to get that tumbler kit that Brittany DeVries, yep. I think is her last name, posted about. So that's good to know. So you yep. guys do all the tumbler cutting on your AccuCut? Yes. Oh. Yes, we do. That's so that that's, uh, and we don't have too much hanging on the walls in here because um, we just redid the floors and painted. So, <gasps> Ooh. yeah. So this is what happens when the UPS and FedEx man comes. <laughs> new okay. fabric, ladies. New fa fabric. And then it gets moved over. And then it gets loaded into the computer system. So go, um, Leah, go. Off, yeah, office area. So um, I'm going to start by scanning. Over Do you here, have hard floors in there now? They're actually, there's our new floor. <gasps> Kathy, and that's so beautiful. It's vinyl laminate. Nice. So, yeah, it didn't get in the whole store, just in our work area and classroom. So, Great for cleaning up. Yes. So this is the big, there's Jennifer, one of our instructors. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer again. <laughs> and so this is the classroom. Isn't that beautiful? So we got some new chairs and um, Look at that. Anyway, that's the room. So, and um, like I said, we still have a little bit to do um, for the design wall is not totally up on the wall yet. So okay. Two more things to take care of. But anyways. Well, fun. What's yeah. Jennifer teaching? So, Jennifer was teaching her. Where is it? Did you put it away? Oh, her vintage dresses. Jennifer oh, I is, love that quilt. Vinager is our paper piecing instructor. And um, she loves tiny pieces so mm. there's a couple of <gasps> look stuff. how cute that is so there's a couple that she's made today so yeah so she just Thank finished you. up that class and uh we're gonna have uh so class samples we're gonna be doing our new meet and greet on saturday so we've got room for new class samples to hang so you are making me a little arizona homesick girl stop oh come on you don't want that heat <laughs> i know but i miss my people a little bit like you guys were so uh important to me in that in the season of the transition and uh i just kind of miss y'all well we miss you too because we still don't uh have a consistent machine quilting teacher <laughs> Oh, you didn't pick uh, that right back up again, Kathy? Come on. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Remember, I can't do it all. So. It takes a special kind of sucker to, to teach people how to use their home sewing machine and make Yeah, quilts. it does. And I'm not familiar. I mean, I'm not as familiar with machines as I used to be. So I'll just yeah. stick to my beginning quilting class, okay? Okay. Um, well, maybe when I come into town next, we'll try and see if I fit on your calendar. There you go. So... Um, the way our store set up is the back wall of it is a uh, color wall. So that's why you're seeing those items. We have okay. a rounder that has all our ombres on it. Um, and then black and white. And other side is white and then some more color wall. So I love blenders. Um, yeah. So important things. I did get a big collection of flannel because, <gasps> yeah, because most, um, <clears throat> if you don't know, a lot of people ask um, why I um, don't carry wool. Well, I'm allergic. So, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so 
And there's yeah. another shop who already does that really well in the North right. Phoenix area. Yes. So why yes. have a duplicate? <laughs> yes. So I we do um, wool things in flannel instead. So I like it. it works I didn't so know well. you were allergic to wool. That's oh, how did I yeah. not know Big that? Big time. Big time. And then <laughs> I have a very large collection um, if you like boutiques. This is one of the ladies who just took the class. So nice. And then we have a lot, like I said, a very large collection of batiks. So yes. Um, that's that's uh, some. Of the <laughs> Oop, sorry, oh. broke. <laughs> so speaking of dogs barking, I understand there's a new puppy around there, and Dylan does his Dylan deal of the day every once in a while. Yes, he he does. Um, uh, right now he's um. He Hi, buddies! Look how this cute This is Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> he's um, yeah, he's become a model, and people asked if we have. Uh, he's very, he, he's bored with all of this, you know. He's so, so sleepy. Um, he's not a real puppy. Yeah, <laughs> he's just six months old. Oh, so, hi, bud. Yeah, so he's he's uh, but he does he does model for us. So I'm I love that. Him. That's my favorite. And there's Julie. Hi, and they are Julie. requiring masks just because of the deal. So I don't yes. have mine on. So I'm going to flip this back around, hopefully. Hopefully. There you yeah. go. There you okay. go. All right. You came back on. So, yeah. um, so what do you think? Obviously, you've been doing some remodeling. You've taken advantage of oops. the of the season to, you know, do some updating. So that's good. Yes. What, what are you most... We only have a few minutes, but what are you most looking forward to? Like, what are you missing the most out of all this stuff since we've been coming? I mean, you're slightly open. We're still fairly shut down up here right. in Seattle. But. The, you know, the biggest thing is, um, you know, a, a lot of custom, a lot of ladies, um, because I hate to say this, we're all in that age group of, and I'm sorry, I'm getting a little close to the camera. Um <laughs> <laughs> because I was by the front door and uh, then people were coming in. Um, the hardest thing about uh, it is that um, people are still fearful because of our age yeah. group. You know, we're right. all in that 60 um, and above right. uh, age group. And uh, so we're not getting the customers in like today in the class. There's four. We're limiting it to 10. Okay. Um, because our tables are six feet. Yeah. Um, so we can have, I'm missing seeing customers come in. Yeah. Um, and that, uh, the joyful laughter that comes from our classroom. Yeah. That is the biggest thing. And yeah. we have a monthly midnight, we call it midnight at the Oasis. Mm -hmm. Um, we do not play that song just to let you know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um it's a little weird. Uh, but anyways, um, we, uh, I miss though that, um, that fun night because it's from five to 11. Yeah. Um, it used to go from six to midnight, but I'm getting too old to <laughs> come to work the next day. So, uh, we went five to 11. Okay. And, um, yeah. So anyways, that's, that's what I'm missing the most yeah. is that camaraderie with the customers yeah. and. The personal um, contact. The I, personal contact and that laughter. Yeah. I know yeah. for me, like being, this is the longest time I've ever been out of the classroom. And that includes my transition from Seattle to Arizona. And I absolutely miss that. Like for me with the machine quilting or working with the machines at the workshop, at that moment that you can see it cross across someone's brain, I can actually do this. I yes. could actually work on my machine. I could actually attempt and potentially master free motion quilting. Like that moment brought me so much happiness. And I can't, it's one of the reasons why I haven't really um, dove headfirst into online classes is because I wouldn't, like this is going to sound terrible, but I wouldn't get anything out of anybody. I would right. just be putting myself out there. Which is, which is totally fine. And if that's the season that we're in and that's how I need to adapt, then I will do that. But I don't think people realize how much I would personally get inspiration-wise from, from watching people kind of come around and develop good practices and principles. And um, yeah, it's been, 
It's been yeah, pretty tough, actually. That, that camaraderie is is definitely um, the thing that I miss the most. You yeah. know, I mean, I get it with my staff and right. And, but like you said, someone getting excited yeah. about the, that. The, the, the learning that they've done and, yeah. and sharing what they've done. We just, in this class, I'll just briefly, one of the girls, and it will be posted on our Facebook page, one of the ladies brought in a dress, some fabric from a dress that she made and put it oh. into the vintage dress. Oh, uh, I love uh, that. that. Yeah. So it's, I mean, just a memorable little thing. And, and, you know, um. To, to see that and yeah. the smile that she had on her face when yeah. she finished the dress was, was what's really the, the best part of yeah. it all. You're like, that's what I'm missing. That's it. Right. Right. Well, right. we are winding down. So I would like you to tell everybody where to find you. If you are around the country and you don't have a local um, favorite quilting spot or shop and you want to support another female owned, female led um, business that I love to to introduce Kathy to you and how to find you. Kathy, tell them how to find you okay. online. Okay, so um, we're, our website is just www.aquiltersoasis.com. Uh, there's no hyphen or anything. It's just all lowercase, easy to find. Um, our uh, address if you want to check us out, if you live in Arizona, um, we are in Mesa. Uh, it's a suburb of Phoenix. Yep. Uh, it's uh, Our address is 9963 East Baseline Road. We're in Mesa, and it's 85209. And uh, our website, uh, like I said, Leah has just bumped it all up. It's got everything. Yay, coming. Leah! So, yeah, <laughs> Leah's been awesome. So, so we just put some new things on that. She did empty a couple of boxes. So okay. um, that's how you find us um, on uh, Facebook. We're just a quilters oasis and you can find us there too. And you can see Dylan's modeling. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. You guys, he's a, so cute. We do occasional live. Uh, it's very unrehearsed and just like this <laughs> is unrehearsed and um, uh, a little crazy. So we, we like to have fun here. Nancy, I miss you too. Nancy's on here going, we miss you, darling. Yes, we do. Very <laughs> much so. You guys are my girls. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining me, Kathy. This is Darlene with, um, I'm Featherweight Doctor. Wow. <laughs> it's been a long day. Uh, you can find me at featherweightdoctor.com. You also can find me on all the socials under Featherweight Doctor, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. So you can like, follow, or subscribe to us. All right, I'll be back again on Friday for my sip and sew. It's one of my favorite nights of the lesson and whatever project I'm working on, 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, right back here. All right, guys, we'll talk to you soon. Kathy, you have my heart. Thank you so much oh. for joining me today. I just wish you the world of success. Thank you so much for having me.